Everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We're literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So today uh, I'm going to talk uh, on why you don't want to live to die but to live for life okay and uh i'm gonna get into what i mean by this and i'm gonna get into um uh, how it has become some type of program to uh just live uh to die you know and and uh, how to avoid this and even uh how to maybe uh become more vibrant okay and and by vibrance i mean more lively okay so let's uh get right into this so um living to die and you can live to die and you can live uh for life okay or you can live to live <laughs> by this i mean um so 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 you can or most people are living to die. And by this, uh, simply I mean that people are living only to uh, only to die. You know, they are living in a very, very uh, deathful state. And, 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 and w death is inertia. You know, death is not uh, some, some eternal end. It's more of a, a process of transformation. You know, and, and what death is, it's a, a state of inertia, you know, and inertia vibrationally is a, an inert state. It's more of a, a restful state, you know, um, like rigor mortis, where, you, where your body stiffens up. That's a type of inertia that's takes, that takes place within your physical body, you know, and, and, and when people are living to die, they're living to be inert. You know, they're living to be uh, in in this rigor mortis, in this stiffness. You know, they're living uh, in a very, very uh, stone-like way, a very, very material-like way. Uh, and and this is not what you, what you want to do. You don't want to live to die. You want to live for life, or you want to live to live, or you just want to live, uh, you know, in... in the very heightened of vibrance of your life, you know, or the very heightened vibrance uh, that can be attained in this life. You know, you do not want to live your life um, inert or you don't want to live it to just die. You know, you can find many people who are readily available, readily uh, living their life uh, to just die, you know, and in this way, I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with death because it is natural, you know, and, and we must accept it as a nature. But but people are living in a way that is uh, they are throwing their bodies away because they're going to die anyway. You know, and, and this is what I mean by living to die. They're just uh, they're completely tarnishing their body um, and 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 they use an excuse, which is uh, that they're going to die anyway. You know, which is uh, the case, but there is also eternal life. There's being able to eternally live, and this uh, is a truth, okay? And uh, you can read many uh, literature on uh, eternal life and being able to live forever, you know, and it's all attained through the body uh, and, and keeping it in uh, heightened states of vibrance or heightened states of uh, health or even uh, holiness or or living holistically is is one way to achieve this eternal life you know where you're actually able to live forever not in a physical sense but it is also uh it is also possible through physical sense 
but more so you you're using the body to um, to transcend into uh, some type of eternal living and and what uh, the the program of, of living to die does to us it tells people or program or it's in people and it drives them towards uh, tarnishment you know of the body of the physical body uh, so that they are living very inert throughout their physical life you know and and this is uh, bringing their vibratory rate down and as their vibratory rate is coming to more of an inert state um, it does not allow them to attain to some of the uh, to some of the the uh, dimensions that can be uh, realized in a uh, heightened state of vibrancy, you know. Uh, so so living to die is something that you don't actually want to do. You don't want to throw away your body while you're here in the physical, in the third dimension. You don't want to just um, tarnish the body. You want to uh, utilize the body for 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 what it is here now and you want to uh build upon the physical body to reach peak states of vibrancy or uh peak states of liveliness or aliveness and um if you are able to attain to these peak states of vibrancy or or aliveness then a lot more opens up for you and 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 uh by a lot more i mean uh more life opens up for you and uh within that you can find eternal living you can literally find immortality within this um and 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 the program of living to die you know tarnishing your body physically uh impedes that whole evolutionary process so you do not want to live to die though you do want to live to live or you just want to live you know, um, you want to attain to peak states of vibrance, no matter what it takes. You know, um, if you have to break traditions, family traditions that have been kept in your family tree for hundreds of years, you got to do this. You know, this is something that you can do for yourself to um, expand upon the family tree in a whole new uh, direction of growth or a whole new dimension uh, of growth as well. So, um, you, once again, you don't want to live to be inert. You don't want to live to die. You want to be alive. Do what you can throughout your physical existence to reach higher and higher states of life. You know, uh, pull in more life because life is energy. Life is uh, literally the currency. Before physical money which is not actually um, which is not actually as necessary as as most people think it is um, generate more life within yourself you know generate more energy more positive life energies and and uh, this is the real wealth you know because the more life you're able to generate within yourself the more you are able to attain to life you know, or the more you are able to express life out, you know, uh, eternally. And once again, that, that's a gateway to uh, immortality, literal immortality, because it is uh, a thing. And a lot of people or beings have attained to immortality. You know, it's not just um, a story or it's not just uh, something that, that is just um, being told you know, for metaphor or, or concept or anything like that, it's actually a thing and you are immortal if you know how to get there. Okay, so, so, um, and once again, the program of living to die, living inertly, uh, only impedes that, that, uh, immortal status that you can attain, you know, um, and it only it only uh, brings down your presence, your level of presence, you know, which presence goes hand in hand with uh, this immortal state or this immortal status, you know. Um, so so presence comes with life. You need to be alive. You need to do what you can once again to to live um, instead of uh, living to die. You know, uh, don't don't follow the crowd. If the crowd is only leading you to slaughter or to die, 
you know, uh, stay away from whatever is, is putting you in, in inertia, you know, and stay, stay away from whatever is um, bringing your, your life energy down because you want life, you need life. You know, you are life and you need to stockpile the life and condense it and uh, Christlize it uh, and, and, and live in it, you know, as much as you can. Um, you don't want to just throw it away because you need the body for one don't make your entire life um, a party and, and in that party you just are throwing your body away don't do it like that uh, if it is going to be a party then then party um, make sure that you're doing something to bring your, your vibrancy up in that party get rid of inertia you know uh, you don't need uh deep states of inertia anyway you know uh because that's death um so you once again uh do what it is that you need to to uh, reprogram yourself um rewire your your neurological circuitry to allow you to uh live in uh vibrance rather than inertia okay uh and it's not that hard once again once your body start seeing the patterns of, of generating more vibrancy and more life energy, then uh, naturally you're gonna start uh, gravitating towards living in um, that vibrancy or that life energy rather than inertia or death, you know, uh, because you're supposed to be able to evolve on t into uh, a whole nother level of, of being, you know, but, but uh, they do put that program out you know, uh, throughout the mainstream, they put it out almost everywhere to just live to die, you know, um, you spend all the last of your money on, on alcohol and party with your friends for the, for the few nights, you know, that the money lasts, uh, but that's only killing you, you know, because the alcohol is poison in itself, uh, especially like some of the, the more, uh, the more sold alcohols, you know, this is all poison, the, the tobacco, uh, most of the tobacco is poisoned as well, GMO, you know, uh, all of that is inertia, you don't want to, you don't want to get with all of that because uh, it's only impeding that evolutionary process, which you're going to keep on reincarnating until you are um, able to achieve that state of uh, higher life, you know. Anyway, so why don't you just um, drop whatever it is is bringing you uh, inertia and uh, get with the vibrance so that you can come into uh, a state of heightened, you know, heightens. Um, and then you can uh, attain to higher states of life, you know, where you transcend the physical body, uh, mystical experiences, and then you can stay within that uh, mysticism. Uh, and then you can literally be uh, status angelically, you know, but uh, That's gonna be it for today's video once again. I do thank everybody for watching. I hope you did enjoy uh, on the um, On why you don't want to uh, live to die, but live for more life, you know um, Dissolve away that program of living to die living to die and tarnishing the body rather uh strengthen your body build your body and uh create an avatar for yourself that is going to be able to um live within higher states of of being you know because that is what uh that is what we all are needing right now you know so so learn how to do that for yourself very simple make the intention and the universe will uh unfold it for you okay peace out one love and have a great, af uh, great morning.